WCCO is wrapping up its winter lake trips. Mark Rose and Liz Collin have spent the past two days in Hayward, Wisconsin, where a lack of snow means no Berkebiner this year, but there still looks like uh, plenty of activity there, you guys. Yeah, there is. You know, and, and unfortunately, we, we've talked to a lot of folks who trained for this Berkebiner. The first one they maybe they're going to race is the way same people trained for their first marathon, like the Twin Cities Marathon. And imagine having you know the rug sort of pulled out from under you, not being able to follow through on that, Liz. And, you know, the way that many people have that opportunity to run. So they're making the best out of the situation here. About five hours ago, they did indeed announce there'd be no Berkebiner ski race this weekend. Instead, skiers can go to the start of a trail and start what they call a five-kilometer loop. That's the best they can do. Yeah, yeah, and once they're up there, though, they are going to find a great party, a big party. They got <laughs> they got beer, of course, live music, food. You know, even despite the fact that there is no race, this is still a really great week for Hayward, especially for businesses in Hayward. New Moon Ski Shop is a mecca for skiers during the Berkey, and we paid a visit there. They stop in to check out the latest gear, ask about conditions, and get tips for waxing their skis. Co-owner Joel Harrison told us without the Berkey, his shop would be a two-man labor of love. But because of the Berkey, they have 15 to 20 employees. Still, bad weather can, of course, make things difficult. Businesses in Hayward um, really bounce up during the Berkey week, and then they can get really quiet a week later. Um, so you might find that a certain business is, does, you know, 30% of the year volume in a week. And that's not too uncommon. If you have a weather issue like this, it can shut that whole thing down. I do know um, a lot of people are planning on coming anyways, so we're looking forward to that. Hmm. Yes, a lot of people came, no doubt, uh, anyway. And uh, it's given a lot of people a chance to check out downtown Hayward, <laughs> which has been fun. Yeah, last night we stopped at a uh, must-see bar if you're visiting Hayward. Looks a lot like the anchor team at, at CCO. <laughs> yeah, know, I got, agree. You know, Frank, tall, dark, and handsome. Mm -hmm. Amelia is holding all the cards, right. wearing a very stylish hat. Yeah, and then I see myself kind of, she's ignoring me because I right. said something and she goes, she rolls her eyes, yeah. and so I decided to have a ham's beer to kind of wash my sorrows away in the way Amelia was treating me. <laughs> yes, the moccasin bar is right in Highway 63 when you get into town. Uh, yeah, you see stuffed dead animals in Wisconsin bar walls all the time. This one sets the bar a little higher. It turns the taxidermy, taxidermy into little scenes. Honestly, I felt I was looking at Norman Bates' childhood last night for a while. But that's just me. It was a little creepy, but it's a big attraction. I had nightmares too, not gonna <laughs> it lie. Was yeah. not, it was not your normal uh, stuffed animal scenes, put it that way. But people love it. They certainly love going to Moccasin. We have had a lot of fun checking out the Berkey Expo, where we are mm -hmm. right now, you guys, and we're gonna bring you that tonight at 6. Everything from fitness equipment, which yeah. we got Rosie on. Oh, a lot of fun. That's oh, a little tease. Uh, as you guys know, surgery will be forthcoming yeah, as yeah. a result of that. I'll be missing the state fair, yeah. no I'm doubt sure. about it. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I like the fact that you um, compared me to, what was that, a possum that they compared me to in there? They, they tried to make an analogy from she some was a dead, very small stylish stuffed possum, animals possum, to the Amelia. team. Yeah. It was very yeah. unusual. Yeah. Very stylish possum, though, apparently. Yeah. All right. Thank Very you. Very appropriate.